remember calling Barbara a space cadet when you were drunk? Barbara, you're a f***ing space cadet. You're a f***ing space cadet. Yes, but Barbara is a space cadet. So you stammer. That's in my regular vocabulary. When it comes to Barbara, she's a total space cadet with no boundaries. Do you remember telling Bethany and Dorinda that they're not hot? That would be stupid. I don't remember that. Go to you sleep. You guys are not hot. We know we're not hot. That's beyond drunk. I don't remember that either, but... Yeah, you sure that happened? <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out Do right it. now. I was gonna knock Bethany out? I probably thought I was speaking to Barbara. I was seeing double and feeling single. <laughs> you usually f fine, guys. Oh, oh these mushrooms are delicious. You got any guys that you haven't f out oh, you're gonna share with us? She All says that's sober. I say that's sober. I always tell the wind that she f my guys. It's always on my mind and it comes right out. When Sonia drinks, she's sort of an all or nothing girl. You know, when she drinks, she goes for it. It's a party time. And then she can totally not drink for a while. You know, when she lets loose and it's a girl's trip, she lets loose. So God knows. But you know what? The thing is too, Sonia with alcohol, um, she can't, she doesn't drink it as well. I think I have a higher tolerance than she does. That's the thing too. I actually sometimes when she is very, very drunk, I don't realize that she is that drunk because Sonia is just kind of like wacko kooky anyway. It's hard enough for me to stay sober and then to have to witness this being sober is just very hard. I've been around a lot of drunk Sonia in the past and it's not easy because it's, you know, you have to put her to bed, you have to take care of her. It's not just the ha ha, let's have a good time with Sonia. There's a lot of care that goes into this project after. I think that Sonia and Dorinda, like they say, you hurt the ones you love the most, right? I think that when they drink, they just go after me and they take pleasure in it. Peace, why love her? Why would you go there? Why it was 30 you, years ago. I agree with her. You should give it a rest. Are you kidding me? Luis. We should have done that before. You know, what are you are talking you about, Dorinda? What do you I'm know about that? You know I nothing know, about it. If you sleep girl. with anything, if I, you sleep with anyone, she introduced me. I would never want you to sleep yeah, with right. anyone ever I dated. Him. Him. Why would you Call. sleep with that? Oh my God. I decided on this Miami trip that I'm going to stop treating Luann with kit gloves. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is, I think it's disloyal. I think all this thing, you know, girl code, <laughs> and all this money can't buy you glass, <laughs> and all this stuff, you know, she needs to start following her own rules. And there's just certain things in my life that are off limits, and dating anyone's exes or ex-boyfriends, I just would never do. It, it isn't cool. It's disloyal. A girlfriend should not really hook up with um, another man that you know you know your friend dated. So if the girl loved that man, right? But I don't think Sonia really cared about Tom, so I don't think it really matters. Well, who did Tom? You date? didn't know I was. With I Tom. didn't know Sonia. But ever Luann dated Tom. knew because Tom told her. I never knew Sonia and Tom. That came. I only found out that Sonia and Tom were together. And they weren't even outwardly together. No, we were on the down low friends. Um, yeah. I would have never set Tom up with Lou if I knew that Sonia was messing with him. Was dating him. Yeah, dating. You gotta Sonya. stop living you gotta in the past. Stop. You two are living in my backyard, bitches. Now, Sonia, have you ever Harry. No, Lou's been, she took off with Harry when he just gave me the engagement ring. She's like, I'm single and jumped in a cab with them. She's holding on to these old stories like she holds on to the Morgan past. You know, I've never dated anybody else other than Harry that has known Sonia. Oh, besides Tom, of course. And Tom just dates everybody, so. I mean, I, mean, I just saw, saw Tom, Tom, Beach Tom and Tom Beach. He always goes to Bukan down the street from us, and he's always in there with this girl or that girl. So. Yeah, it's just Tom. Over the years, there you know there was the pirate. I invited the pirate to St. Bart's to a party, and that whole party revolved around my friend setting me up with the pirate. And I, I wanted to have a good time in the garden, and she, she got there first, and I didn't care. I was like, all right. But let me ask you something: Did she actually ever? Gift. Did she ever fool around with Harry? Hell yeah, Harry went around telling everybody all the disgusting facts. That's why I'm so mad at Harry to this day. You never heard about that? No. Oh, I'll tell you later. Ramona, Sonia, Dorinda, you're all in the same car, but you won't let Tiffany go. Why do you guys leave Tiffany out of the car? <laughs> oh gosh, how do we explain that? <laughs> Sonia's coming. Oh my God. You, you're kicking me out of a car? Yes, if you already decided. Sonia, me. How, how did you guys decide? Oh, I'm getting already kicked out of a car. That'd be 
He's like a broken me. record with this. I'm, I want to meet a guy. I want to have a baby. I'm too fat. I don't I look just good. Want, and <laughs> I just wanted it to be me, Ramon, and Sonia. Because yeah. you know what? We've had, we all have a lot in common. We have a, you know, a long relationship. And she seems like the daughter a little yeah. bit. It's like let the moms go in one car That's and the kids true go too. in the other. <laughs> Ramona has shocked me. Want to come? No. What about Barbara? Is she going to come? Of course. Barbara's going to come? Barbara's sing No, she doesn't want me to come, and that's quite all right. It I, is? You know, she doesn't. Okay. You can say it, I don't care. You know, Ramona can be very mean girl, so it doesn't surprise me that she would exclude Barbara right in front of everybody else. No tact. And like, she just will say what she thinks, and there just is no... I love that about her. But it's, it's funny, because she with Barbara, I mean, it started in the beginning, even the beginning. Ramona is a mean girl when yes. it comes to Barbara. Ramona's becoming a mean girl. She's full of herself. But, and Ramona just decided early on that she didn't like Barbara. There's nothing That's about true. Barbara, sensibility, dress, interaction that she liked. Nothing. I also think Ramona was being a little loyal to me because she yeah. knew that Barbara and I had been good friends. and. It was almost like Barbara was mesmerized mm -hmm. or drugged or something, the way she was acting the whole season. It was bizarre. With Luann. Yeah. She when it came Luann's to Luann, they, she, literally Luann could be, you know, doing anything, even right in front of her. She's like, absolutely not. Yeah, but the happened. problem is Luann's not going to be there for her. That's the problem, so. And it was just funny, and it was just like, uncomfortable to be around seeing her just be so blatantly mean and just be like, no, you can't come with us. And by the We're way, talking here. let me just tell you something. <laughs> There's nothing that Ramona and I need to do to catch up about. Uh, Tinsley and I are gonna catch up. We got Tinsley and Ramona stuff to catch up on. I didn't want Ramona, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know how I let her even come with me. <laughs> you can't change leopard spots just like you can't change Ramona Blue. She's mean girl. I went to visit her while she was recording and I thought she'd be happy to have a visitor for 15 minutes. And I am myself. <laughs> you know, oh, she's manic. like, well, I saw her the, in, uh, at your house in Kingston. And I rode home with well, her. Well, at the hours. restaurant, she was screaming. Yeah, that's that's that was like, oh, that the was restaurant. alcohol. She was with the alcohol and whatever else. Is there something she else? Maybe she is taking something else. I don't know. That's she what I'm wondering. Something. I was hurt when Luann said that because I'm very demonstrative, I'm very high energy, and I thought she could use a pickup for 15 minutes. I mean, it's above and beyond Sonia. I mean, she, you know, just wouldn't stop talking. She was taking over the whole rehearsal. It was a disaster. My musical accompanist, Billy Stritch, is like ready to leave because he can't work in that kind of environment. You know, Sonia's talking nonstop. She's moving around. She's being very uh, disruptive. And we can't work like that. Hurt my feelings. I just wanted also, to visit too, her. I don't think you've. I mean, with everything that they've been through together and everything that Sonia, you know, Sonia is a keeper of secrets. <laughs> True that. And I don't think that's really a good position to take when you know someone's has a treasure chest of, of secrets herself. I don't. I I don't like that Luann is saying really. You know, anything to do with. You know, some sort of substance a abuse judgment sort of, of thing. Right. Else's I mean, you can't, that's not fair. And Sonia's not acting any differently than Sonia acts. You know, when Sonia, Sonia sometimes can act kooky, sometimes act completely straightforward, I mean, that's just Sonia. We've seen that a million times. So nothing's new about this. So it's not fair to start throwing out an accusation that Sonia is on pills just by an observation or a judgment or something. It's just, for all people, Luann is not the one to do that. Sonia, Sonia, I don't know where she's coming up with this stuff. I mean, anyway, I, I don't think you throw stones when you live in a glass house. Of course she's taking something. I mean, who's not taking something? You know, when I refer to Sonia taking drugs, I'm talking about popping a Xanax once in a while. I mean, it's quite possible Sonia could be on something. The whole world's on something, right? I think she's projecting a lot, what she's learning in her meetings, and, and you know, don't use me as an example of what you've learned in no, your meetings. No, that's not true, because the meetings aren't about that. The meetings are about humility, about, you know, taking responsibility, mm -hmm. not pointing the figure, you know, worrying about your own garden and not worrying about others. So Good point. I don't think that's relevant.